Three Seconds is a novel uh, of the main character. His, his, his name is, is Piet Hoffman. And he is uh, an ex-con. And he is recruited when he is serving his sentence is recruited from the Swedish police, and he's uh, supposed to infiltrate the, the organized crime, and he's infiltrating the Polish mafia all the way inside prison, uh, inside the walls. Three Seconds is a book about a Swedish informant named Piat Hoffman, and he's working as an undercover agent inside the prison for the Swedish police, th police authorities. And uh, he has to infiltrate the drug trading inside the prison. And he also works for the um, Polish mafia. So he's a kind of double agent. But um, his main uh, purpose is to help Swedish policemen to get rid of the drug market inside uh, the prison. Three Seconds is based on, on uh, real events, and it's based on, on the fact that uh, Piet Hoffman, the main character, is, is quite a petty thief, and, and he's the one who goes in for eight months out, ten months in, twelve months in, and, but when he's serving his sentence, he's recruited, right? And, and, um, and, and the Swedish police need him, and to use him, uh, infiltrating organized crime, he's petty thief theme doesn't work. So you have to build him more dangerous. So they use the, the, the data bases, the systems. Uh, so they put a, a year in crime, is five years served. Uh, they, they, they put extra hearings, interviews inside the protocols. They make him sick. Uh, and and that, then they got the papers to deliver to be the real hard guy, which he need to be. But then it's also a problem when he's inside this prison getting captured between the organized crime gangs wanted to kill him and the police force outside uh, uh, looking at him and, and seeing that this man, what they know is based on false information from the data systems. So he's dead meat either way. Three Seconds is based mostly on, on real events in, in Sweden where we have, we have had problem with Swedish real informants uh, that's been uh, revealed so they have to place them outside in a witness protection program outside Sweden I think in South America somewhere and uh, that's one of the spark and then we have uh, we have a lot of, of people uh, fr friends of mine and friends of Anders and, and who's been criminals so who's been telling us something about this, because in Sweden, every policeman has an, uh, his own informant, but not this good as Piet Hoffman. He's a real good informant, probably the best they have ever. David Grenz is, of course, a very beautiful person, since he's uh, Burgess kid and my kid. He's me and him. He's uh, my bad habits and his bad habits. But he's also a man making a journey, a trip. Uh, First, when I met Berger, uh, I was in trouble, and he said, Anders, uh, he used to be a therapist, and I used to go to treatment, so, so it makes sense. He, he, he saved me and says, hey, what, what you are afraid of, Anders, that has already happened. And that was good words, but what does it mean? What I'm afraid of has already happened, and I was thinking about that, but it didn't make sense. But all, during all these years, I've learned what they mean. Uh, I have not there is no issue to be afraid anymore. And our main character, Evert Grenz, he lost his wife so many years ago, or she was in, 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 into an elderly home because she was sick, she was violent. And, and his trip, his journey inside is to realize what, what, what I'm afraid of has already happened. So in three seconds, those 600 pages, he, he, he dares to go from that line Somebody's telling him what you're afraid of has already happened to at the end of the story he's going to his gr her grave, his wife's grave, and he's saying goodbye, and he realizes that this is it. She's not here anymore. So he's getting all the old, old stuff out from his body. He's some sort of healed, and probably that is me and Burgess' trip as well. 
Uh, and it, this has gone all the way to the United States, right? So <laughs> it's a good trip.